So yesterday, uh, we launched the Justice Democrats movement. The whole idea behind Justice Democrats, for those of you who didn't see my long segment on it, uh, it's the Bernie wing of the Democratic Party taking over and saying, hey, corporate wing, you're done. Goodbye. Now, uh, as I described in the segment, uh, the reason why we're going about it this way as opposed to creating a third party is very simply after researching and really trying to understand our best chance of succeeding, we've concluded this is by far and away the best chance of succeeding. There are so many systemic biases against third parties that even if they're a good party with a really good message, it's hard for them to uh, really get their foot in the door and be taken seriously. So, like, for example, the Green Party, I have nothing but love for the Green Party. I'm not just saying that. I mean that. I voted for many Green Party candidates. Uh, but the fact of the matter is, the proof is in the pudding. And though they may have had some victories here and there, uh, even if you talk to them, they'll tell you, well, of course, we wish we had a lot more victories than we've had. So we're coming to take over the Democratic Party. And it's the best way to go about it. And just to give another quick example as to why that is. Think of closed primaries. So there are closed primaries all across the U.S. To set up a, a, a third party, well, that means that a lot of those people, you're, you don't want them registered as Democrats. You want them either registered as independents or want them registered in your new party. And then what happens? Well, then they can't vote in a Democratic primary, for example, for president, which could be the most important vote that they've ever had, like it was recently with Bernie Sanders and Hillary Clinton. So... It, it's more possible for us to win, I know I'm repeating myself here, but if we take over the party, uh, and I think that's how they're going to be most scared, because they're a house of cards anyway. The corporate Democrats are only somewhat viable, slash not really, because they just got their ass handed to them on a silver platter, is because they're propped up by corporate money. So they're a house of cards. So they have the establishment backing them, but that's about it. Hence, why the Republicans now control the presidency, the Senate, the House of Representatives, state legislatures, and governorships all around the country. So, we're coming to say it's our party, it's not your party, you can step aside. We're not just going to concede the fight to you and say, you know what, corporations and establishment have the party. No, we're going to make it our party. So, we launched this initiative. The idea is to find the next Bernie Sanders. In fact, we're going beyond that. We're trying to find hundreds of Bernie Sanders to take over the Democratic Party. How did the launch go? So, as of me talking to you right now, this thing launched, you know, not that long ago. This time yesterday, we covered on the live show. My segment hit YouTube at about 6.45 uh, Eastern Time. Uh, Cenk Uger from TYT, who helped massively with this initiative and connected me with the Bernie people and did a lot of the infrastructure work. He launched it at around the same time. So it hasn't it has hasn't been up all that long. Hasn't even been up a full day yet in terms of reaching the widest audience. So far we've had over 17,000 people sign up. 17,000. It hasn't even been a full day. Now, you might say, well, come on, that's just the people who signed up in support of it. What about people who actually want to run? You got none of those, right? Over 200 people have already said, right here, I'm the next Bernie Sanders. Over 200 people say, yeah, I'm going to throw my hat into the ring. And as long as the infrastructure is there to train the candidates vet the candidates, pick the best candidates, and give them the guidance they need, I'm in. And that's what we're here to do. You know, that's one of the biggest problems with the Democratic Party, and with the Democratic Party specifically under Barack Obama. The, at the organizational level, they've been decimated. People forget that politics is hard work. It's not all glamorous. You gotta dot your I's and cross your T's. And that's why it's fantastic that we're now working with top officials from Bernie Sanders' campaign, because if they know anything... It's how to dot the I's and cross the T's. And they also believe in the same policy platform that we described in detail yesterday. So, 
now that the infrastructure is set up, it's a matter of, do you have the will to do it? Go do it. Go do it. What's going on in your life right now? What are you doing? Do you hate your job? Do you, do you not have a job? You know, are you miserable? Are you depressed? Do you feel disconnected from the people, but you wish you could do something that would make your life mean a lot? That could make you a, a crusader for justice and freedom in the American people? If you want to do that, well, now you have no excuse. There's none. The infrastructure set up, we're telling you the exact way to go about it. So what are you waiting for? Go to justicedemocrats.com. At the very least, sign your name in support of this movement. Guys, we're running Bernie Sanders Democrats. That's what we're doing. And our guys walk the walk. We don't just talk the talk. You have to take a pledge to be a justice Democrat that says, I will take no money from corporations and billionaires. So this is of, by, and for the people. We're trying to raise the money $27 at a time. We need people beholden, we need candidates beholden to the American people, as opposed to the corporations and the billionaires like the establishment Democrats are. So go there, sign your name, justicedemocrats.com, let everybody know, hey, this is what we're doing, and I'm in support of this. And let's scare the pants off the mainstream media and the establishment Democrats. That's what we have to do. Now, also, if you really, really, really want to make an impact, you can run. You can run for office. You can nominate somebody else who you think should run for office. There's a, a, a system set up, a process in place where they vet you to determine if you're a good candidate. If you're a good candidate, you get trained, you get the guidance, and they run you. So this is what we're doing. Also, we need the small donors. We need regular people to donate. Now, understand... This is a non-profit. I get nothing. My salary for doing this is zero dollars and zero cents, and I wouldn't have it any other way. I don't want to get paid for this. It's got nothing to do with money, nothing to do with my wallet, nothing to do with Jenk's wallet, nothing to do with anybody's wallet. This is a non-profit initiative. This is all for, all the money we're raising is going towards what I'm describing for you right now, setting up the infrastructure, running the candidates. It, unfortunately, when you dot the I's and cross the T's, you have to take money from somewhere. And we said, hell no to taking it from corporations and billionaires. We want it from you, the people, so we will represent you. So, sign your name in support of it, justicedemocrats.com. If you want to run or you know somebody else who wants to run, sign them up at justicedemocrats.com. Read the platform. As I've described to you guys before, this is... One of the proudest things I've ever done in my life is that pl platform. So, come on, let's do it. Read that platform. Now, by the way, there were a few people, uh, apparently uh, the, the Bernie officials who are running this said, oh, a few people reached out and said, eh, you forgot this issue. So, put that on the platform. We hear you. We hear you. We're working on it. Some of them were so obvious that they slipped my mind to even put it in, if that makes any sense. <laughs> like, for example, the fact that Republicans are waging an onslaught against Planned Parenthood, and we didn't mention anything about Planned Parenthood or reproductive rights in the platform. Trust me, believe me, as somebody would say, um, we are 100% in favor of reproductive rights and Planned Parenthood. So it's not that we didn't put it in because we're against it. We put it in because we're so obviously for it that it slipped my mind to even put it in. So let's be clear about that. And a few other things as well. So we hear you. We're listening to the people. We're adjusting accordingly and we're moving forward. And if you want to be a part of this movement and you want to be the next Bernie Sanders, sign up yourself. If you know somebody else who you think would make a good politician and represent the people, sign them up. Sign your name in support of it. And let's do donations, $27 at a time, man, just like Bernie Sanders. It's vital that we get your support because, again... We're at a disadvantage. We are at a permanent disadvantage because the people that have all the money think, well, they're the last people we're going to give to because they're going to come tax us <laughs> and they're going to come look out for the American people. And furthermore, even if they offered it, we don't want their fucking money. We don't want their money. We don't want any corporate money. We don't want any billionaire money. We don't want any big donor money. So, one day, not even a full day, 
over 17,000 names in support of Justice Democrats. By the way, also follow Justice Democrats on Twitter. It's at Justice Dems, at Justice Dems. Follow them now. Yesterday when we launched this thing, I looked at their uh, Twitter. It had a few hundred subscribers. Now it's over 5,000 subscribers. What are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? Follow Justice Dems. Go through uh, the steps here. We have no more excuse. There is no more excuse. Nobody's coming to save us. We have to save ourselves. We have to do the hard work. This isn't easy. Nobody said it was going to be easy, but we have the people on our side. The polling shows that. And people are yearning for a populist from the left like Bernie Sanders. Hillary Clinton and the corporate Democrats are such a representative of the status quo and the establishment that they went for a right-wing populist over her. So what the American people really want, according to the polling data, is a left-wing populist. We're here to fill that void. That's what we're going to do. So corporate Democrats, run scared because we're coming for you.